It's cold out, it's winter time. Not too many people thinking about fishing. But the reservoir crew out on Percy Priest Lake is already thinking about spring and summertime fishing and they're building better access just for you. Percy Priest is close to, you know, Nashville, Smyrna, Murfreesboro, so it gets a lot of fishing pressure. And we've been trying to uh, help uh, at least get people a place to go or, or an easier access to go by, by building some of these fishing piers uh, at some of our more heavily used areas. The old piers that we had out here were great. I mean, they worked for a long time, but they were getting to the point where we were either going to have to repair them. So we decided that we would try to upgrade those piers. The old ones, you can maybe fit one person and, you know, their dog on it. But now, you know, these, you can get a whole family out there, which is, you know, part of our whole mission is to get not just individuals, but families out there. I guess the water being down this time of year gives us time to get in there and get the work done. And we don't do as much fish collection in the winter time, so that gives us time now to work on fish attractors and piers and stuff like that that actually, uh, you know, also benefit fishermen just as much as anything we do. Yeah, our engineering department kind of came up with these and it's something that we have done in other locations and so if it, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. So we just keep keep building them the same way. They're, they're 10 feet by 12 feet uh, is the platform size. And we uh, went out we, and we uh, laid them out and we pulled strings and we, we dug our pilings down to where we either were about three feet deep in the dirt, which is hard to find on Percy Priest, or we hit, uh, hit rock. And then we uh, set our poles and then we poured con big concrete anchors around them so they would not float up uh, if we did have a, a high water, which we've had several times in the last few years. Now we're gonna put on some of the, the railings. We've got the deck boards down, now we're gonna put the railing boards around, make sure nobody falls off into the lake. We've got three that we're working on right now. There's uh, th I think three more on the other side of the cove that we're hoping to complete maybe next winter. So overall we'll have six here in Stewart's Creek, so it'll be six of these piers plus the fishing pier that's, that's already there. So Stewart's Creek will have plenty of access. There, there's actually a, a greenway walkway uh, that uh, was extended out here to Stewart's Creek. I think we've, we've shot the elevation on them to where they're they within an inch of being level from the asphalt to the actual fishing pier. Pretty easy access, hopefully, for anyone. Stewart's Creek, here on Percy Priest, you can catch anything. They'll have fish attractors around these. They'll bring in bluegill and crappie. Uh, they might catch bass, too. So, I mean, really anything. The lake's got a lot of different species that, that they can catch. We built them so that people can fish a variety of depths. You, know, you can fish shallower off the edge, or you can go out to the end of the pier, and you can fish deeper. I love doing this kind of work because it's, it's practical. You know, it's, there's, there's time for doing the research and making your decisions based on the science. And, and there's time for doing things like this and making something that people can actually step on and, and fish. So it's nice to do something direct and uh, to directly help people fish, make it easier for them to fish. It's going to be nice this spring, but it's not the only place in Tennessee you can fish from the bank. Check out our website at tnwildlife.org, search for bank fishing, and find a spot near you. This is just public fishing, so all you need is your regular fishing and hunting license and uh, come on out and catch some fish and have fun.